I went to my childhood home. It was brand new when we moved in. I was in first grade. My sister Ruth was in third. We thought it was huge. We played hide and seek here. We'd always been close. Ruth was the only one from my childhood I could trust. This was the last home she ever lived in. Ruth died of brain cancer at age 11. I was nine years old. Ruth Ramsey dies after illness. As is usual, the funeral home employee picked up Ruth's body at the hospital. But instead of taking it to the funeral home, he took it to our childhood church. Outside the church, before the sun came up, my parents made me watch as they cut Ruth's body with a knife. Later that day, I went to my sister's closed casket funeral. There was a ritual outside the church where they made me hold a knife, where they cut, it, cut her body. As a part of ritualistic abuse, a child may be told she is an abuser, not a victim. A child may be put in a coffin. And what I remember is touching her hair because she was still my sister. So why did your parents do that to your sister's body? There's never a way for someone who's not evil to explain an evil person's mind. But what was similar that had happened before is, this is before I started kindergarten, my dad um, killed our dog. It is not unusual for an abuser to kill a child's pet. He made me and my sister watch while he killed our dog with a knife. And he said that if you tell about the abuse, the same thing will happen to you. Yes. So then my sister dies of an illness, but she dies. And afterwards, they cut her body with a knife. And I think it was to threaten me because I know what I know happened after that was my dad started coming into my room a lot more often. Let me tell you what this is. So I did, I used to do art stuff. Ooh, I'm alive, but I am way hurt. This is about, she's still alive. She's still alive in my heart, Rufus. This, this is my kind of personal art therapy thing that I did at home or maybe at a counselor, but I think it was at home, of the ritual after my sister <coughs> died. So when I was nine, my sister died, and they they did a ritual where they cut up her body. They made me, they put a knife in my hand and made, uh, this is, that's what this is of. How old were you when you made this? Oh, I made this as an adult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I made this after I was in therapy, after I remembered my abuse. But it helped me to make it and I put, I am alive, but I'm way hurt. But then I put, she's still alive, she's alive in my heart, Ruth is alive. Oh, that's my hardest memory. Is they, they cut up her body and then they put her back in the coffin and they put me in the coffin with her body. And this is one reason I know my memories are true, is if I were making up that story, there's all kinds of things I would say that a little girl emotion she would have being inside the coffin with her sister's dead body. But I just was glad I still got to be with her.